Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Very fine, teacher. Thanks for us and you. I'm really, really, really good. Thank you, Annie. <laughs> okay, Reina, how are you today? More or less. More or less. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that happens. Sometimes we are happy, sometimes we are tired and so on, right? That's normal. Don't worry. Okay, how's it going, Wilfredo? Very well, teacher, and you? Okay, I'm really, really nice. Thanks. Okay, Nelly, Wait. how are you today? Hi, teacher. Okay, that's good. Amazing. And Tanya, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Fine. That's good. That's good. You sound tired, right? <laughs> okay. Leticia, how are you? No, doing? no. <laughs> I find I find teacher. I have was your day. Okay, okay, that's good. Very nice. Okay, Fabiola, how are you today? Uh, so, so, teacher. Also, okay. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay, Rebecca, how's it going? Hi, teacher. Okay. Really good. Sophie, how are you today? So, teacher, I am sick. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> no problem. Okay, really good, the students. Uh, Flora, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay, that's good. Okay, students, I know that, um, you know, at this time, you're gonna look tired, you know, sleepy sometime, but um, we're gonna try to do our best effort, right? And let's get a start with today's class. Stephanie, how are you today? Good night, teacher, I'm fine. Okay, really, really good. Okay, students, let's get started with today's class. And we're gonna see this. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna continue with module three, right? Module number three. And the topic for today's class will be? Reading Ricky Martin. Okay, really good. Today we're gonna read about Ricky Martin, right? Okay, that's good. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Okay, let's go. We're gonna start with today's objectives. I need somebody who help me to read the objective for today's class. Raise your hands and go ahead. Who wants to practice? Who wants to read this? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Wilfredo. Thank you. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, really good. Okay, Wilfredo, thank you so much. Basically, today class students, we're gonna uh, read and develop our skills, right? By scanning, reading for a specific information. How come we have a readings about Ricky Martin, right? And we're going to know some specific information about him. Okay. But before today's class, we have a warm-up, warm-up or feedback, whatever you want. And now we're going to try to answer this question with personal information. Yep. Okay. That's good. Okay. Carlos, how are you today, Carlos? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, that's good. I'm really, really good. Fabiola, how are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, amazing. Elsie, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, students, so what we're going to do here, we're going to try to answer this question. Let's see. Did you remember that yesterday class we were talking about this? Where did you go? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, but unfortunately, you know, uh, I'm, you know, sometimes it's a deal because I cannot hear everybody answered. A veces no puedo escucharlos a todos, así que I need to hear you, right? Okay, we're gonna uh, start with this, like a feedback. And we got these two questions. It is in the past, right? This is an auxiliary, this is the verb be in the past tense. Okay, the first one it says, where did you go to elementary school? Impossible answer. Do you remember this? I went at uh, Morazang School. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Sophie, really good. Okay, what were your favorite subject in high school, Sophie? My favorite subject in the school is where a uh, physical education and English. Okay, okay, really nice. Thank you, Sophie, really good. Okay, in my case, students, uh, the first questions, I went to Moncagua Elementary School. And my favorite subject uh, was chemistry, right? Chemistry. Ahí is an example. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, continue with this. And let me see, Reina, where did you go to elementary school? Um, I was... I went? No, I, I went. Elementary school in El Congo City. Okay. okay, really good. Thank you. What were your favorite subjects in high school? My favorite subject was uh, my favorite subject in high school was um, English and Sikis. Algo así creo que se pronuncia. Uh, physics. No. Psicología. Ah, psychology. Psychology. Okay, psychology. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Thank you, Reina. Really good. Okay, good evening, Fabricio. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, good. Thanks. Okay, okay, that's good. Fabricio looks tired like this. Yeah, teacher, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. okay, no problem. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me see. Nelly, where did you go to elementary school? I went to uh, Eucaristico element, Elementary School. Okay, thank you. The second one, Nelly, what were your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject is uh, math and history. Okay, where, math, and history? Where? Uh -huh. where? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, really good. Thank you, Nelly. Okay, let's see, um, <laughs> Rebecca. Where did you go to elementary school? I went to Salomon Skin Elementary School. Okay. Okay, really good. What were your favorite subject in high school? My favorites, my favorite subject were math and physical education. Okay, very nice. Good. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay, the last one, uh, let's see, Carlos Herrera, where did you go to elementary school? Okay, Carlos, are you there? Yes, I am here, teacher. Okay, okay, that's good. I went to the elementary school in Ataco. Okay, okay. In Colegio San Francisco. Okay, really nice. Thanks. Where, what were your favorite subjects in high school? My favorite subjects were math and English. Okay, okay, really nice. Thank you, Carlos. Really good job. You're welcome, okay. teacher. 
Okay, students, basically, uh, yesterday in class, we were talking about this, right? Where did you go? What were your favorite subjects? Okay, really good. Now we're gonna see useful words that we're gonna see in this class. Okay, how do you say this one? The word. Afterward. Okay. After After yeah, after after yeah, what does it mean? After estar de war, no sé, teacher. <laughs> Después de qué, teacher? Después. Después de. Después de, ok, ok, muy bien, es después de algo, muy bien, ok. Eh, algo que va consecuente, really good. Ok, after something, right, after war. Ok, what about this one? How do you say this one? Join. Unido, unión. Unirse. Ok, ok, really good. Join us, únetenos. Muy bien, really good. What about this one? How do you say this one in English? Okay, okay, thank you for this. Okay, success is exito, right? Muy bien, in English, how do you say this? Okay. Success. 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 Okay. Really. Uh, these are really important words that you have to keep in mind afterwards. Join. And Join. Success. Success. Really good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna make a review about what we see during the past tense. And basically, the verb be, right? The verb be. Uh, in verb be, in the simple present tense, we see like uh, is, um, and are, yep. And in the past tense, we got two. Well, let's The verb be in the past. Were and was. Oh, was and were. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Carlo. Was and were. Yeah, was and were. Necesito que manejen esto sumamente mm, práctico. Uh, when you want to express ideas in the past tense, you I'm going to be able to handle all of these words. Okay, was and were. For example, uh, Stephanie. Sit the chair. Yeah, can you read this? They were friends. Okay, what does it mean? Ellos fueron mis amigos. Okay, okay. Ellos fueron? Amigos. Amigos. Yeah, really nice. Ellos fueron amigos. Amigos. Entre ellos mismos o no saber. Muy bien. Okay. Continue with this. Then we got the negative way, right? What we're going to do with the negative way? We're going to add? Word. Uh, yeah, was a word, but not. 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 Really good. Was word. not. Were not. not. Or in the contract form, wasn't or weren't. Right? Word. Word. Yeah. Word. For example, word. Uh, this. they weren't friends. They weren't friends. Yeah, and they weren't friends. Ellos no fueron amigos. Fueron amigos. Yeah, really good. Okay, in this one, uh, we got the questions. The question, right? What happened with the questions? Okay. Was, they were. Where? Okay, <laughs> okay, really good. I'm gonna change, you know, the position of the verb being in the past. Were they friends? Yes, were they friends? Question mark. Question mark. Like, Case students, if you got the positive or negative, whatever you want, eh, it can sound like a question. Puede sonar como pregunta, solo tienen que hacerlo like a question, right? Okay. They weren't friends, and it is a question. Yep. Okay, that's good. But the, the best form to, you know, to make these questions 
is to change the position of this. Yep. Yeah, oh, really, really, really good. Let's see this. Now uh, we're going to see some verbs in the past tense. We add what? ED. ED, really good. For example, she worked, uh, she worked uh, yesterday. Okay, okay. In this case, are you going to sound like a Uh, Eddie? Yeah, it's gonna sound like that. Yeah. Work it. Work. Work it. Work. Work it. Work. 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 She worked yesterday. She worked yesterday. Yeah, yeah, really good. Okay. Uh, did you remember that I sent it to you? Uh, a uh, list of verb in the past tense. Yeah. Did you remember? Yep. Yeah. ¿Se recuerdan que les envié una página con una lista de verbs in the past tense? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, try to practice, and you have to memorize all of those verbs. Lo que más usan. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. That's good. Uh, okay, in the in the negative way is really easy because we're gonna say just the auxiliary verb plus not, did not or didn't. For example, Leticia, read this. She didn't work yesterday. Okay, yeah, amazing. Work. Work. Is in in present. Yeah. Verb in present. But the Auxiliar, el auxiliar, yeah, impostado. We're going to have the questions for this. And what we're going to do? The same, right? To change the position of the auxiliary. Did she work yesterday? And it has to sound like a question. Yep. Okay, students, let's see some examples about this. And we got the uh, how to use and the example. For example, in the first case, we're gonna express completed action in the past. Completed action in the past. For example, uh, Stephanie, Stephanie, let me see. Yeah, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, help me to read this. I say I wash life free day. Okay, okay. Is the I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw a ghost. A ghost. Last Friday. 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 Yeah, really Friday. good. And uh, what does it mean? Yo vi una. Um, Fantasma. Fantasma. El viernes. El viernes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really good. Uh, usted vio un fantasma el viernes pasado. Okay. As you see, students, basically, uh, we express a completed action. Why a completed action? Because it's in the past, right? Okay, continue with this. Also, when we talk about the past, basically, uh, we talk about what? Des, de escribir una serie. Yeah, okay. De complementar acción en el pasado. Ok, de unas acciones completas en el pasado. Veamos el ejemplo. Ok, let me see, Rebecca. Can you help me to read this? Yes, I finished work, walked to the beach, and found a nice, a nice place to swim. Ok, thank you, Rebecca. Really good. Okay, basically, students, in this case, we describe a series of completed action in the past. Describe that she finished her work, walked to the beach, and found a nice place to swim. So really good. Thank you, Rebecca. And then, uh, also, we're going to use past in the simple tense for what? To 
Okay, thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> okay, that's good. Vamos a expresar. Hábitos. Hábitos en el pasado. Okay. Let's see the example, right? Okay, Fabricio. Okay. Yeah. When, when I was young, I watched lots of television every day after school. Okay, really nice. Okay, in this case, uh, Fabricio expressed and habit, right? In the past. When he was young, well. <laughs> 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 uh, veía mucha televisión después de la escuela. Okay, es cierto, es mentira, Fabricio. <laughs> it's really watching Goku, right? Okay, that's good. Okay, let's see. Uh, we got this, this one, the last one, and uh, let me see. Floor. For um, state statue bears have yeah. own be seen, uh, believe. No, dislike, need, own, and which. Yeah, really good. Okay. Uh, continue with the example. He had a mood. Um, cottage. Cottage. In the, in the world. In the woods. In the woods. In the woods. Really good. Okay. In the okay. woods. Nice. Uh, basically, students, uh, as you see, we're going to use past and simple tense for verbs like this. Uh, we talk about thinking, believing, right? Or uh, wish, or need it, or something. For example, he had a small cottage in the woods. Somebody who helped me to translate this uh, sentence into Spanish. Él tenía una pequeña, pequeña cabaña en el casa, casita, cabaña. Una pequeña cabaña de madera. De madera. De madera. De madera. De madera. Ya, yeah, really good. Ok, en ese caso eh, estábamos hablando que tal vez era algo que él. Eh, Mire. 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 Necesitaba. Ok. Eh, Paso. Intense is really easy because, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. uh, because you can express your ideas in the past, right? Your belief, your thing, and so on, right? Have it describe something. So, if you learn the verb that I sent it to you a few days ago, it's gonna be easy for you to understand and how to build sentences and express your ideas in the past, right? Yep. Okay, try to do it. Eh, intenten aprenderse esos verbos. Van a ser sumamente relevantes para ustedes. Okay, that's good. Yo sé que ya se aprendieron varios, pero eh, es de continuar. In that way, uh, you're going to improve your uh, speaking skill, right? Okay. Okay, now we're going to talk about Ricky Martin. Okay, and we're gonna read, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six paragraph. Okay, I need somebody to help me to read with the first one. Who wants to read it? Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Reina. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan. Puerto Rico on December 24. Yeah. Um, nine, okay, yeah, really good. He, he was always a performer as a shell. Yeah. He appeared in television commercials in the stadium. Singing. Singing, singing. Really good. Really, really nice. 
Okay, let's see um, somebody else who wants to continue reading. Practice, don't be shy. Me okay, go ahead, Tanya. Thank you. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band, Menudo. He worked hard, worked hard with them and he became very well now. No, but he left the group after five years. Okay, thank you, Tanya. Really good, really good work. Okay, nice. Congratulations. Okay, you are good on it. Somebody who helped me to read this. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Stephanie. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. Yeah. He had to stay to his move to Mexic City and get a part of on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After his, how do you say, success? Uh, success. Success. <laughs> Uh, he moved back to the US. 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 United States or US? Yeah, really good. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, uh, amazing. Who wants to continue? Uh, volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Delcy. Thank you. Back in the US, he had appeared on an American soap opera. In, in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. Yep. Okay, thank you, Elsie, really good. Okay, somebody who wants to continue what they're reading. Okay, go ahead, Leticia. That album was called Ricky Martin, his biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard. And he still loves loving singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA, USA Today, I want to do this forever. You were really, really nice. Okay, students. As you see, when you practice reading, you improve your pronunciation, and that's amazing, right? Okay, remember, don't be shy. You you can do it, and you have to do it, right? Okay. Now we're gonna translate this into Spanish because we have to understand all of this word. Everything is word. Everything is word, right? Okay. Uh, let's do it together. Le voy a ayudar acá con la primera, Ricky Martin. Continue. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Nació en San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. En diciembre, en diciembre de 1971. Él fue siempre un visionario. Performer. Um, luchador. Luchador. Okay. okay, este es como un artista, right? Performer. Yeah. Como un artista, un performer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Era pequeño. ¿Cómo? Como un... Como, como un niño. Como un niño. Okay. Era, era básicamente... Cuando niño. Desde niño, desde niño. Ah, desde, desde niño. niño. Aparecía en Aparecía la televisión, televisión. Estudiaba y canto. Y estudiaba canto. A la edad de 12 años, de 12 años, de 12 años se unió, se al, unió a los, al, a los, al grupo latino los, los, menudo. Los, menudo. menudo. Menudo, right? Okay. trabajador con ellos y llegó a ser muy conocido. Llegó a ser muy conocido, pero. Pero. Pero él dejó el grupo después de cinco años. Después de cinco años. 
Martin se movió a Nueva York. Nueva York. Nueva York. Nueva York. Pero él no trabajó. Él no trabajó por un año. Por un año. Él estaba frustrado. Así que se movió a México. A la ciudad de México. Y tuvo parte en una ópera. 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 No es ópera, es ópera. <risa> Luego de pronto, de, pronto, tan pronto, de, pronto de regresó. Grabó dos, 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 dos algunas. De pronto finalizó. Eh, algo. Después, después, recorrió, la, la grabación. Él grabó de, dos álbumes. Grabó dos álbumes en español. En español. De español. Después de su éxito, él se movió de regreso a los Estados Unidos. Ok. Ok. Este es el Estados Unidos. Él apareció en una ópera y en un show de Broadway. Los miserables. Luego él hizo el álbum en inglés. El álbum fue llamado Ricky Martin. Su más grande fue Living la vida loca. Fue en su álbum. En ese álbum. Ahora él es famoso. Pero en él todavía ha trabajado duro y todavía ama cantar. Y él ama cantar. Un reporte. Eso lo dije en un reportaje para el periódico. Y dice: Yo quiero hacer esto por siempre. Ok. Para siempre. Por Bien claro que usó, quedó. Ya fui a decir, escribió, teacher. Everything is dark. Everything is dark, right? Everything is dark, bro. I just want to say to all of you, it was really hard, but I did it, right? Okay. Ok, students, basically, uh, we can vivir a la vida loca, que es uno de los más grandes hits de eh, Ricky Martin, right? Creo que cuando escuchamos eso, se nos viene la canción. Uh -huh. La de Shrek. Ajá, la película de Shrek. <laughs> es cierto. Ok, students, uh, now that you understand the readings, I need that you can able to read, but clearly and fluency, right? So we're going to start with Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Uh, let's start. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, Wilfredo. Let's start with this one, the first one, but try to read it. Uh, the corrido, super fluido, lo más que pueda. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on the server on December 24, 1971. He, wa he was always a performance. As a child, he per he, appeared? he appeared in television, commercial, and student singing. 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 Yeah, thank you. Really, really good. Okay, amazing. Incredible. Okay, continue. Elsie Gonzalez. Okay. Um, at the age of one, he joined the Latin boy band. Menudo. Uh, he worked hard with them and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Okay, thank you. Really, really good work. Okay, uh, continue please, Sophie. Okay. Um, Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a, a year. He was very proud. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, frustrated. 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 Uh, so he moved to Mexico City, Mexico City, yeah. and go a part 
on a, a Mexican sub upper. Yeah. Uh, so as as the word yeah. he records to a uh, Spanish language album. Uh, after this, so, so it, uh, he moved back to the USA. Okay, really good. Thank you, Sophie. Success, success. Success, okay. Yeah, yeah really good. Okay, amazing. Continue, please. Uh, Carlos Herrera. Back in the US, he appeared on American soap opera in and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. Okay, thank you. Really nice. Okay, continue, please. Uh, okay, Fabricio. That album was called Ricky Martin. His yeah. biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on the album. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. Really nice. Okay, uh, I'm going to finish with, uh, let me see, Tania. Now he is famous around the world, but he still work, works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper user today, I want to do this forever. Okay, thank you. Okay, students, basically, uh, we read this um, readings about Ricky Martin, right? And what's amazing because we understand a specific information about this singing, right? And that's amazing. Okay, let's see. We're gonna continue with today's class and now we're gonna move to the platform, right? And we're gonna watch a video about the readings in order to understand uh, the pronunciation of some words. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go this. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, students, let's see. Okay, please pay attention to this. We're gonna watch a video about Ricky Martin Red. In the Broadway show, they miss. Okay, I'm sorry. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well known but he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the US. Back in the US, he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Hi. Okay, okay, I'm really good. Okay, students. Um, okay, basically, uh, we saw a video that was uh, related to the readings about Ricky Martin, right? Now you are able to understand many words. Eh, comprendieron todo el video, right? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, that's good. 
that's good. Okay, students, now we're gonna move again to the knowledge check. In this case, we're gonna go back and read the article about Ricky Martin. And then we're gonna select the best answer for each question, right? Okay, we're gonna check your knowledge on the platform again. Okay, let me see, yeah. Okay, this one, yeah. Okay. Okay, students, here we go. Okay, now let's check, right? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna work together, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, basically, um, we were talking about the type of Ricky Martin, right? And first question that we have is, when was Ricky Martin born? Right? Yeah. On December. On December twenty-four. Twenty-four eighty. Nineteen seventy-one. Nineteen seventy-one. Yeah, yeah, really good. This one, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, okay, really good. Okay, continue with the second one. Uh, can you help me to read it, uh, Lord? Where was Ricky Martin born? Okay. Uh, uh, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay, thank you. Okay, nice, amazing. Okay, what about the third one? Uh, Tania, help me to read the number three. Okay. How old was Ricky Martin when he joined the Latin boy band in Nude? Okay. Um, 12. 12. 12? Yeah. Okay. He was 12 years old. All right. Yes. Yes, true. Okay, really nice. And the other one that we have, uh, let me see. Sophie, read this one, please. Why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Okay, thank you. Why? He was frustrated. frustrated. Yeah, frustrated. Okay, let me see this one. He was frustrated. Okay, okay, really nice. Okay, let's see if we are right or not. Yeah, very good. Everything is nice. Okay, now I understand why you get a 10 all the time. Ahora entiendo por qué ustedes siempre sacan 10, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, you get a 10 here. We're going to go back to today class and let's see. Okay, students, um, we're gonna run quickly because of the time. And now we're gonna practice uh, with these questions and try to give long answer. What you're gonna do here to give long answer to this question? Let's see. We got this one. Uh, this question is gonna be in the past tense, right? Did you feel happy with this English class? Okay, uh, what does it mean? ¿Te sientes feliz con, con la clase de inglés? Con la clase. Okay. Te sentiste, yeah, because... Te sentiste, oh, the Te sentiste bien, en la, feliz en la clase de inglés. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Okay, in this case, student, you have to give a long answer. Ah, because this, because this, because all right. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, let's see. Uh, how it says? Are your experience with, with online class? Yeah, really good. Is it in the past or present? Past. 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 Uh, what does it mean in Spanish, this question? Como fue tu experiencia de la clase en línea. 
लिखिए ओके एम Did you feel happy with this English class? Okay, Fabricio, can you ask me these questions? Did you feel happy with this English class? With why? Yes. Why? 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 Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you an answer, right? Yes, Fabricio, I did. Yes, I did because. I have a very smart student. Yeah, they always were. They always. Estaban a tiempo. Okay. Also, they were. Okay, always participate in the class uh, during each class. Finally, they got everything quickly. Entienden bastante rápido. That's amazing. Okay, the second, <laughs> the second question, uh, for me, my experience was amazing because I knew many people from different places at the same time, right? At the same time. Okay, what you're going to do here, students, you have to ask these questions and try to give long answer like this. Intenten dar una respuesta más extensa, right? Okay, that's good. Okay, you got it? Take picture to these questions because you're gonna practice yes. it. Okay, that's good. Yes. Now, students, it's time to put into practice these two questions. Okay, go ahead. Let me see, you're gonna work groups. Okay, good luck. Practice each other, don't be shy and enjoy this class. During a class, uh, finally they go everything cooking. How was your experience white online class? My experience uh, was amazing because I I came in came many. Uh, people from different places at the same time. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Tanya, did you feel happy with this class English? My life. Um, I got the Every means uh, um, learning English. Uh, hey. Etc. Etc. <laughs> yeah. How was your experience with online class? Uh, my experience is amazing. It's a new experience. Um, because I, uh, never experiment uh, classes online. It's uh, really good and uh, nice. Okay. I was, um, I, 
a new ex i have a new experience with the class online and um, i learned English more. Okay. Thanks, Flor. ¿Quién falta? Mm. Elsie. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ¿quién me pregunta? was uh, excellent and we share many many knowledge with other classmates and I think that it's so so good Rebecca Yes. Repeat, the, repeat the question. Two questions. Repeat. No las tenemos. Did you feel happy with this English class? For you? For you? Okay. For you answer. Uh, yes, I did because I knew new person and I had a good teacher and the second question is how was your experience with online class uh, i had a um, good experience because i knew uh, different persons and i learned more good excellent in my in my answers the five his questions uh, I, I feel good because it um, was a very professional class in two questions answer my answers is my experience uh, was uh, of great help to no sé cómo se dice, se pronuncia incrementar pero uh, incrementar my level of English Increase. 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 Oh, okay. Increase my level of English. Thank you. Okay, okay. very good, the students. Okay, congratulations. You did it nice. Okay, we're going to go back. Okay, really good. Everybody practice, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, really good. Okay, students, amazing. We're gonna wait for Leticia, Carlos, and Rebecca, and Reina, right? Okay, we're gonna wait for them. Okay, students, um, basically, uh, we are about to finish, right, with this class. Uh, we're gonna cry. The last class. Yeah. class. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know if you had equations so far. Question about the class. 
No, teacher. No, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's me. Everything is clear. Everything is clear. That's why I like this group, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, students, if you don't have question, I have questions for you. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, students, uh, basically this is the last class, and I hope that you can able to learn something from these classes, right? And um, congratulations, you did it really, really nice. Uh, all the time you practice, you participate during the class, that's amazing. Continue doing things like that, right? Continuing así, chicos, eso es maravilloso because you increase your English level, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, really good. Okay, students, I hope to see you uh, soon in the next level, or I don't know where, but I hope to see you again. Right, like the song say. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, congratulations. I hope everybody finish. Ah, uh, okay, that's a cute cat. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Ah, really good. It, it, it is your baby, Leticia. <laughs> no, okay, that's good. Okay, students, um, I hope everybody finished the test, the meter exam, and the knowledge check. Everybody finished, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Finish. 100%. Okay. Yes. Porque cuando uno va al progreso, a lo que dijeron que fuéramos ayer, aparecen todas las barras en rojo. Pero yeah. el examen, en, el, en, el, en el examen final me aparece en gris, porque ah, really? no tiene nada que ver. No, 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 eso no tiene nada que ver, solo tiene que estar ahí los porcentajes, y you no. Know. No, en el porcentaje sí me aparece el 100, pero los colores me llaman la atención. <risa> ok, okay. Lo hizo muchas veces, por eso le parece que... <risa> mala, mala. Okay, okay. Eh, los colores es porque el test es algo que nos pone ahí un poco tenso, right? Y el gris pues nos da un poco de tranquilidad. <risa> Something like that. <risa> ok, that's good. Ok, students, uh, it's a pleasure to see you today. You are a really, really great student. And that's amazing experience for me. Uh, unfortunately, time is over. That's it for today's class. Thank you. Everything is clear. I hope so. <laughs> Everything is clear. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Okay, take care. I feel homesick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, students, bye-bye, take care, see you next time. Bye, 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 Jump to jump. I don't know.